how do you decide what to put every every time you create a newsletter i i tried three time i started three time and then next month it's didn't go i have a really hard time like almost every week it's been i think i've done eight issues now um and i skipped one week cuz i was really tired but otherwise i've done it every week and i have a hard time coming up with content but with in one of the first ones i asked for ideas and then i kept putting that at the end of my you know ps if you have ideas for me so i have like a bank of maybe five or 10 ideas that people said oh i'd like to hear about this or how you do that so okay. i have those ideas on the side that i could use but what i've been doing lately is either thinking about something i'm thinking about right now so i was thinking a couple of weeks ago oh it's so strange that people are asking me to talk about these topics and i didn't tell anyone that i'm an expert in this um i didn't tell anyone i'm an expert in in twitter dms i i did write a newsletter at ep- ep- not episode edition about it about twitter dms and posted a twitter space talking about it but i don't go around saying that i'm a twitter dm expert but then somebody asked me to be a guest to talk about connecting in twitter dms and there's several things like that that i'm an expert in and or an expert that people have invited me to talk about so it, i was thinking about that that's weird that i'm not saying it but people are asking me so then i made my issue about that about like i'm an expert and i didn't have to tell anyone but i just started doing things and people mm-hmm. noticed and other times when i was stuck with what should i write about i just looked at my tweets and just saw one that did well or or one that i could expand an idea upon um so i talked about it last week about finding your north star star just remembering your why and why you're doing this and it was kind of on my mind and i think i'd written a tweet that was similar and so just i just look at that and just think oh what can i write more about and then just start and see what happens and and then i i end up with some content and i don't like to make my newsletter super long like i have friends that write really long in depth newsletters but i just find for me as a consumer i don't like to read that much and then also it makes it easier as a creator to to write less and um and mm-hmm. then it's not as much pressure like just keep it really practical and simple um and i just do 500 to 800 words sometimes it'll be 1000 words but i try to keep it a little bit shorter so that it's easy to read through and just give some practical advice 